Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. Uh, Ted, I think it's important that we let our listeners and viewers know exactly what's boiling up there in New York. The activist, George Soros-funded and controlled DA, is attacking President Trump for an illegal campaign violation. And just so everyone can understand the background to this, Ted, it's from a porn star. That's the key witness and a disgruntled former attorney who was fired and jailed for his own actions. This case has already been tried in civil court and thrown out. But yet the D.A. is still after President Trump for, in my opinion, obvious political reasons. But I I want to set one more backdrop for our listeners. Bill Clinton paid Jennifer Flowers $850,000 while he was in office to have her go away. Just this year, past year, Hillary Clinton settled a campaign violation very quietly under the table because her campaign funded the Steele dossier, which cost America millions and millions of dollars for the Mueller investigation and the Russia, Russia witch hunts. Ted, I'm so confused by all of this. On one side, you have the exact thing and 10 times worse going on. And then these attacks against President Trump. I need a little help here. I'm sure our listeners need a little help. We need a little Ted Nugent wisdom this morning, Ted, to try to bring this all together with some common sense. Do your best. Keith, once again, our our hardcore uh, researchers have unearthed just the tip of the spear of examples and evidence of how Democrats have uh, turned into criminal gangsters for certainly my lifetime, just worse and worse every year. You just gave a couple of examples how they were actually caught on record doing the same thing uh, that this punk uh, communist DA, like you said, George Soros, who's who's track record of destroying cultures, destroying nations, destroying societies. Um, and no one needs to really dig into the why. We don't need to know why George Soros is evil. We don't need to know why Hillary Clinton is evil. We don't know why uh, Jeffrey Epstein um, was murdered, even though we already know why. Uh, what we need to know is that there are two separate, dynamic, opposite forms of justice in America. One for conservatives, which is gung ho and manufactured in most instances. That poor kid on the steps of the Capitol where the drunk Indian was pounding the drum in his face. All he did was smile and everybody called him a racist when, in fact, the people against him were the racists. Right. Uh, There's so many examples we could keep here forever, but I have pigs to kill. The point being is that my wisdom doesn't come from smart ass guitar player, though I do it well. My knowledge, my wisdom, my evidence, my truth, logic, and common sense comes from good families in America who I've surrounded myself with my entire life. We have a shit kicker brunch here in Texas every week with great, great people from every imaginable walk of life. And the same thing in Michigan during my hunting season. And you've met these people. These are down to earth, productive people that have a moral compass, a true north moral compass. And yes, we could really get an aneurysm if we really dwelled into the why, where to for of the evil maneuvers of the left and the Democrats and the Joe Biden gangsters and the FBI and the ATF and the the DEA and the CDC and the FDA and the USDA and everybody goes and the NSA and Soros and Gates. um, We go on and on. All I can say is that we see what's happening. And yesterday on the Nightly News, I alluded to the evidence that supports that the Democrats turned a blind eye to documented cases of felonious crime from the Democrats. And then even though Trump has been exonerated through the court system, they're still going after him because they're scared to death that this outsider who came along in 2016 is spotlighting the satanic cockroaches of the deep state who have been manipulating the American dream and manipulating hardworking taxpaying Americans forever. And Donald Trump came in with a, a, a swinging crowbar of of Constitution and Bill of Rights and goodwill and decency. 
and they hate this guy. That's why they hate you. That's why they hate me. That's why they hate conservatives, because we believe in accountability. We believe in the rule of law uh, equally delivered. And the Democrats have absolutely skewered that American dream foundation. And they're after Trump to disqualify him to run for president. I want to announce right now that my guitar does not gently weep. And that beautiful Gibson Birdland 1964 over there is ready to breathe fire this coming Saturday. We'll talk about that every day in the nightly news because Donald Trump is coming to Waco, Texas for the first official 2023, 2024 election campaign stop. Keith, I will unleash the most patriotic firestorm of killer sexy guitar licks in the history of noise, because you watch what happens in Waco, Texas on Saturday. Good conservative families in America that are in the asset column that want accountability and constitutional accountability from our elected employees. We are going to rally against uh, for this great man against the, the Soros funded evil empire of Joe Biden and the Democrats. And I believe that these horrible conditions are testing us and we will win. We will come, we will come, uh, we will overcome this test and we will rally behind Donald Trump to make America strong, safe and great again. You know, I want to challenge you on one thing and then give you the last word, Ted. You constantly say the Democrats are evil and, and there might be some support for that. No, no denying, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's one party only. And and what I'm saying here is you you see what's going on in New York and we have had some Republicans come out and condemn it. But I've yet to hear one word of condemnation from Mitch McConnell. I've yet to hear one word of condemnation from Ron DeSantis, one word of condemnation from Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, Susan Collins. John Thume, name a number of these Republicans. And so I I just challenge you today that you constantly call out Democrats. I think there's plenty of blame to go around on both sides of the spectrum. Last word, Ted. You know, you challenge me and I take your challenge and I I concede. You are absolutely correct. Your old favorite guitar player uh, made a presentation, a speech, shall I say, a scolding at the McLennan County Republicans banquet the other night. And I looked them all in the eye, looked all the senators and congressmen and reps in the eye. And I said, where the hell are you guys? You're right. If it, in the in the movie, the the in the movie Braveheart, William yeah. Wallace finally surrounded himself with like minded freedom fighters. And it turned out when he had the chance to kill the evil king, that one of his blood brothers in the freedom fighting movement had actually turned on him. That's what these Republicans are doing. Shame on them. Secure my damn border. Give me my hard-earned tax dollars back that you gave to the Taliban and you gave to Zelensky and that you gave to Planned Parenthood and that you gave to the propaganda ministry of the left. I want my money back. You are torching hard-earned tax dollars across America. And now you've got this. You're trying to destroy a man who is actually going to has put his heart and soul with the great Donald Trump to make America great, strong and independent energy uh, dominance, uh, secure borders, low crime, the lowest uh, unemployment in the history of our nation. And the Democrats hate this and peace and peace, peace peace and and, and control. So. So, yes, there's there's so many heartbreaking elements to this. But bottom line is you're absolutely right. The real enemy is our own people who will not stand up and fight for the things that got them elected. We, we the people, have not held our elected employees in the, in the Republican Party to constitutional accountability. You're absolutely right. They are worse than the Democrats, and they know who they are. I helped get John Thune elected. Shame on you. I see so many of these people compromising. No more compromising. No more friendly handshake across the aisle. Put on your brass knuckles and stop these evil people. Powerful, Ted. Well, we'll talk about some more issues tomorrow, including uh, Putin meeting with Xi from China. Uh, The world is in complete disarray because we are in chaos at home. We'll talk about that all tomorrow night right here on The Nightly Nooch. 